Hi, in this video of the programming formalism score setup max, I'm going to demonstrate how you solve this exercise in which you have to use test driven development to write a function called is even. So I did not prepare for this video on purpose. I'm just going to try to do this exemplary and maybe I will make some mistakes and you'll see how I handle them. So first thing first, let's create a GitHub repository called is even. Uh, well, so I go to GitHub, I click on the plus, I click new repository, and I will call it is even as the exercise indicated. It is available, uh, is even, well, well you have stuff there. I make it a public repository. I add a readme, I like that, and you don't need to initialize it. Um, I'm going to add a git ignore. Uh, you don't need to do that if you don't like it. Um, but I like to do it to just to make sure I don't check in stuff that's irrelevant without thinking about it. Um, I use a license. I like to have a good uh, a public license. So I create a repository. So to go back to the exercise, I already did the first part, which is create this GitHub repository. So the URL is here. I just copy paste it and I send it to someone that can take a look at this. And we're going to develop this function called is even in Python in test driven development fashion. So um, let's do that. Um, first things is we're gonna need to clone the repository. Get clone HTTP as HTTP as um, HTTP as colon slash slash GitHub dot GitHub dot com slash Richard slash is even. You can add the dot get at the end. Doesn't need to. Uh, you can do both. CD is even, and here we have my repository. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to create a file called uh, let's call it just main.py, all right? Because that's the the common file name for uh, the main file. Uh, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code to develop this function, and I'm going to close all this, close folder, and I'm going to open up the file, and um, start working in it. Open file, it's in home, it's in is even, main python. Um, yeah, I'm going to open this. And here we are in the editor. Let's see if we can make it a bit bigger. So we're going to write a function is even. We're not going to use a, te a testing framework yet. And the first thing I like to assert is that there is documentation. Assert even dot doc is not none. So this is a test to check if that function has documentation. If I run this code, it will fail here. Uh, debug the currently active file. It will fail here because it did not write documentation yet. So I just broke the code. So I'm, I've been in the red phase now. Now it's, now it's time to enter the green phase by fixing it. Define, and that just means writing a function, define uh, is even, it has an argument, and add some documentation. Uh, determine that x is even, De or determines x is even. And now let's see if I can run it again. I stop debug mode, I run it again, uh, I run it again, I run it again. Where can I run this? Run a debug. Let's click it there again. And now the things have passed. That is great because now I can maybe oh I can do it here. Get status. Now I can add this to my repository. Is even has documentation and git push. So for git pushing, so now I've uploaded this to my repository. Let's take a look if I've really done that. I press a five to refresh this. And we see is even as documentation. So that's the commit I just did. All right, let's see if we can break the code again. Um, so for example, I would say is even to, well, let's test the data type first, all right? Um, so I want, if I put in a string, this is a string, this is a string, it should throw an error. So first I'm gonna check on the data type. I like that, uh, I think it's a good, uh, second test to do has raised is full and that's a bit of scaffolding if you don't use a testing framework 
try to do that. Um, I use four spaces. Uh, except. So it should brace an exception. Has raised is true. And then assert has raised. So here I check if when is even is called with a string, it will throw an exception. I'm also going to add that to the documentation. Um, returns returns true if x is an even number. Returns false if x is an odd number. Raises type error if x is not an integer. It should be an integer, so let's make it uh, there as well. So the integer is a whole number. Um, yes, yeah, so I documented it well. Um, let's run it again. Control Shift T. Apparently, run on the bar. I click here again. Let's see. So we just broke the code. It means that when a call is even with a string, it doesn't raise an error. And that's exactly what we did. So time to fix this. If not is instance, so if x is not an integer, then raise type error x must be an integer. So let's run the debugger again. And let's see if it passes. So we see it passes. This is great. So we're going to add it. Um, so we just did the green phase. Now we're in blue. And we're going to check that in. Is even tests its input. And get push. Let's double check if it really has reached the repository. And there we see it has reached the repository. Next step is... Let's see if now we're actually going to make it do something. Assert is even 2. So 2 is an even number, so this should be true. Um, you can write this if you really want to, uh, but you shouldn't. Because this is exactly the same as leaving this out, so you should prefer the shorter form. I know that uh, when I started out, I wrote this to be super, super explicit. Um, it's a good idea to, to remove this. Like sp style checkers will, um, will, will will check that for you. So this test should fail. Let's uh, let's make sure it fails. And it does. Um, that's super great because uh, the function doesn't do anything useful yet. So let's stop the debugger. And we're gonna make it do. Return x modulo two equals zero. So modulo means divide by 2 and then getting the remainder. So modulo 2 means divide by 2 and getting the remainder. Um, so it's it, the remainder after division. That's what modulo does. So let's run a debug. Let's see what happens. And it passes. So we're going to check it in. We're in the blue phase again. Is even detects even numbers and get push. So now we're going to see again if it's on the GitHub repository. That's great. So now we're going to break the code again. For example, assert not is even 1. Let's run it. Let's run it there. And this works. So that means um, we're not going to check this in. Uh, that's not useful. Maybe minus 2 works. Let's take a look. So minus 2 is an even number. Because we should break the code. We should get into the red phase. But minus 2 is also correctly labeled as even. Minus 1 should be old. Let's see if we can get that to break our code. But in all cases, our code passes. So that means we're done developing this function. If we have done everything exemplary, let's take a look at the exercise again. Um, so we've we have been exemplary. We can see this in the GitHub 
uh, repository history. And I'll show you this now. So you click on the file main.py, that's the function, uh, the, 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 the code we've developed, and you click on the word blame. Um, some people should say a uh, claim it should be renamed to praise and I'm also one of those like who, who has who is to praise and here we can see uh, our uh, the tests we wrote so we, we checked for documentation inputs and detect even so every test shows up as a separate commit and that was the whole purpose if you do it exemplary then you can see each test showing up here you see that there's a that, that that it's not completely one on one. For example, this line should be connected to this uh, commit. For some reason, it it went a bit uh, called sideways. That's all okay. We see that we've really done three cycles. So we've developed is even in an exemplary way. So another function is to write is odd or is probability. Try to do those yourself. Um, this video is done, so I wish you a very good day. Bye.